Margaret Thatcher once said, the problem with socialism is that you eventually run out of other people's money. We're clearly seeing that playing out here in Canada with the Liberals hiking the capital gains tax to compensate for their drunken spending spree. But we're going, but we're not going to speak about the Liberals today. We do plenty of that already. But just before we dive in, I just want to ask you to consider subscribing to this channel as there is going to be a big announcement coming regarding censorship on YouTube and social media in general. The best way to get the notification for that announcement is to subscribe to this channel. The right is heavily censored on social media and I learn from my mistakes. So once again, please do consider subscribing. So today's video is for the first time about the NDP, more specifically about that party's most truant MP, Nikki Ashton. Parliamentary travel records indicate that Ashton was only in Ottawa on one occasion for four days during the fall 2022 sitting. I mean, wow, that is something else. So right off the bat, we can say that she quite literally phones it in. Her excuse for being chronically absent from the House of Commons, I hope you guys are ready for this. She says it's because she's the mother of two young children. What I would give to sit Nikki down with my mother right now. But anyways, that's, I just don't know what to say anymore. But now it's been revealed that not only is she terminally addicted to those precious sick days, she also fleeced Canada's taxpayers for close to $18,000 for a personal trip. Ashton did her level best to justify her holiday with, with saying that she did so to attend meetings with stakeholders about business of the house. A spokesperson for Ashton tried to run additional damage control by saying she was in Quebec to discuss language priorities because she's the party's critic for official languages and needed to find out things she needed to prioritize. Let's get serious. No one is doing work during the holidays, and that was proven by Ashton's own social media feeds. Her Instagram feed was packed full of pictures of her frolicking through the holidays with her husband and her kid. So let's get back to that trip for a sec. As mentioned, we already covered she billed taxpayers for almost $18,000 for a trip from Manitoba to Quebec. Think about that for a second. The average cost of a plane ticket for that flight is $500 per person, meaning her family should have been able to fly out for somewhere around $2,000. And you know what they paid for that airfare? $13,619. That's right. That's how much of that sum went just to airfare alone. Here's socialism for you folks. That's it right there in a nutshell. Ashton doesn't believe she has to put in the work like everyone else, and yet she feels completely entitled to your money. She brings in a salary of $203,000 per year, and yet somehow that's not enough for her to cover her own personal expenses. This is not only abuse of the public purse, this should be treated as fraud. Sound off about how you feel about this abuse in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing.